to Addie's Reading Adventures. I'm Addie if you're new here and today we will be reading The Little Fawn and Her Stolen Spots. Let's read. Deep in the woods of Acorn Valley, where the trees grow strong and wild, it's in these woods that our story starts, a tale of mother and child. With a little fawn, the tale begins with a crime, but no, not a clue. The fawn hurried to share with her friends the, this case so shocking, yet true. Don't cry, little fawn, squeaked the squirrel. Are you okay, asked the raccoon. My spots have been stolen, the fawn cried. We must hurry and find them soon. The critters stared at the little fawn with disbelief in their wide eyes. Don't worry, we'll find them, said the fox. We'll search every inch of ground and sky. So they set off on their adventure, all determined to solve the case. When they came upon a small dark hole, look, cried the fox, that's a hiding space. They gathered round and stared at the hole. It was Fox who gave the brave shout. Hello, anyone down there? He yelled, and a skunk came scrambling out. Why are you shouting, questioned the skunk. What, is, what do you want from me? Did you steal my spots? Asked Little Fawn. No, he said. I have stripes, you see. And sure enough, he had stripes, not spots. He was certainly not the thief. I promise we won't give up, said Fox. We'll search each den and lift each leaf. So they continued on their journey through the forest they searched and searched. Look, said Raccoon, a quail in her nest and a pond spotted eggs. Spotted eggs, she perched. They all started staring down at the little eggs. They were speckled with tiny dots. The little fawn frowned and shook her head. No, those aren't my stolen spots. So they pushed on till they found a stream and there was a splash. That fish had, that fish had spots of the dripping fox. So, to, so the water's edge they dashed. The great fish swam over to meet them. At the edge, he popped his head out. Excuse me, but you did you steal those spots? No, they're the markings of trout. They left the water and on they went. Through the forest they walked and walked. Mama, the fawn cried and ran to a doe and the mama they talked and talked. We're searching for fallen spots, said Squirrel. Someone has stolen them, Fox cried. We're looking for the thief, said Raccoon. I can help you, Mama replied. You know who has taken them, asked Fox. So it has happened in the past? Oh yes, to each young fawn it happens. And it's time to explain the last. Each day you get a little older. Each day a little more you grow. My little one is growing up, so your spots will begin to go. But as you change, your small spots fade. There is so much more you will gain. And even without your tiny spots, you will be any you won't you will be anything but plain. Do you understand? She gently asked. Time is the thief. Now do you see? Then she looked at Fawn and smiled, my little one, you'll always be. They all smiled at one another. Now they had chances for the crime. The case of the stolen spots was solved. The unstoppable thief, thief was time. The end. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button. Bye guys.